All right, we have our default Nokia N900 with the MIMO operating system just restored back to factory defaults. And the first thing we want to do is add an internet connection. And I'm not going to put my SIM card in here because I'm going to use this as a tablet device. So I'm going to go into the settings menu and set up a Wi-Fi connection. Be right back. So I have my Wi-Fi working and I just have to make sure in my settings app manager that I have my application catalogs set up. So this grayed out one that says Memo Extras, I'm going to enable that and save. Later I'll show you how to get new catalogs but as of today the catalogs are actually down I don't know why but they are so we'll do that later check for updates first thing I want to do is make sure that my memo software is updated and I got some kind of notification up there let's click that and see what that says new updates hey and we want to install the memo software update that's fine yep it's down and that's not normal so I'm not gonna show you how to add the other catalogs right now because they are down too and we don't know why so the Memo 5 update we're going to install that and I don't need a backup because I just installed and it's a 21 meg file so we'll let that install Alright, the device finished updating and has restarted itself. Uh, right there it said update successful, but I clicked it too fast so you didn't see it. And we'll just make sure that we have an internet connection. Yes, we do. And we will go to the app manager one more time. And I'm sorry I can't show you the extras because, well, the um, Memo extras and update sites seem to be down. Dear visitor, Memo.org has a maintenance break. We are moving the service to a new hosting provider. We should be back online in a couple of hours depending on the DNS propagation changes. Memo.org admin team. So we only have all desktop and office, unfortunately. Um, later there should be more um, icons here for other types of software and anyone that doesn't have list with a list with icons you just have a top-down list, um, a two-column list, without pictures for the um, categories. You have older software and you need the update. Okay, second fail. Uh, the machine hosting repositories crashed some time ago to, to an NFS failure. It has been communicated to the ISP. We hope to have the repositories again online soon. However, Saturday evening is not a good right. time. Even though the repositories are down, we're going to add them anyway because the process of adding them isn't going to be affected by them being down. It's just then they'll be there when they're back up. So we're going to go to the application. And by the way, if you have an older version of the Memo software, um, you're not going to have this update all button, which is very convenient. So you don't have to go back and forth and choose each individual application you want to update. You can just click and update them all. Anyway, we're going to look at application catalog and click new repository and we're going to fill this out. Now, luckily, there's an alternate location for some of the same um, additional software and I'm going to add them as the alternate sites since the main sites are down. And I'm gonna show you right now where they are. If you're not uh, used to testing software that could crash your system, then don't add these. If you wanna see how to fill it out, it's just like that or actually seeing it on my phone 
seeing it on my phone under the web address type in the HTTP just like it's listed here ending with that back uh, with that forward slash and then under distribution the Fremantle I don't even know how to pronounce that and the components are the free all right I have disabled the non working repositories for now and added the alternate repositories and I'm checking for updates and let's see if it actually finds anything else okay that's the updates let's actually go back and see what categories there we have a whole bunch of categories now uh, network desktop development education office and we should actually be able to scroll down and see more there we go that's what we're looking for now one of the first things I want is root access to the system so I'm gonna to go to system and find and what root sh to enable root access I understand I want that software and continue and it will download and install my root access. And why do we want root access? Well, then we can go to the command line and work on this thing like a Linux box. Let's test that out. Let's go into the menu, into the X terminal, and let's test. Let's test out having no root access. I'm going to open this up here and I'm going to type something like apt get. A P T dash get update, which is basically what the uh, application manager does when it gets updates. I'm going to hit enter and you can see I have permission denied. Now, I'm going to type sudo, if you don't know what these commands are, uh, don't worry about it, just copy what I'm doing, sudo in root, and enter, and look at that, I got a command prompt, and hit enter, and what's going to happen, it's updating my repository lists or the software that's available for my repository lists so that's what happens when we have gained root we can actually uh, have what's the equivalent of root or administrator type permissions on this MAMO device and I'm going to end this video right here and wait for the regular packages to be available Right, for anyone that wants to see the location of the repositories that we were going to use and are going to use when they come back online, let's just take a look at the non-alternate settings that I just typed in. The extras testing, it's actually repository memo.org, extras dash testing, and the other one is development, repository.memo.org extras Devel, which is actually the same URLs used for the alt extras testing and the alt extras development, with the difference being this is actually at espejo.fremo.org and then slash repository.memo.org slash extras testing is the same. So the actual ending or the URL minus the actual domain name of the alternate that we've been using are the actual ones that we're waiting for them to come back up.